Ready? Yep. Recording. All right, this is shot one, take three. All right. Denise Pritchard, a girl born in this millennia, has just received a letter, the contents of which pertains to the most sought after emotion known to man, connection. What she is reading now has both a pro and a con. The good news, a certain William Donaldson has been identified as her perfect match. The bad news, he's been dead for nearly 20 years. My dearest darling, what must it be like to be near you, to hold your hand in mine and to feel your pulse as you do, to feel the warmth of a summer's day and to be by your side. There will never be another to match your beauty for your presence is gentle and your face endless. In your eyes are daisies ever growing with the starry sky. As you walk, the rhythm of each step will be my heartbeat, as each breath will become my atmosphere. An existence separate from yours is still a miracle, for you simply exist. To say I love you is far too simple for one as dazzling. I rest well knowing that you are there. To live is to know that you will be. If only I could glance at the person you are to become. If only I can share in what makes you so lovely. My heart grows fonder with separation. For one day I will witness the light beaming off of you, and we will rejoice together in each other's arms. Someday, sooner or later, I will look at you the way that you think of me, and I will finally see you and know how you feel in this moment. If I lived a thousand lifetimes, I would be yours in every one. How warm and cozy I am just to be yours. I adore you. Alas, here we are. I will love you from afar, as I'm sure you will love yourself. It is your fate to be living, breathing, and here. And at the very least, I was once there too. Yours, and only yours, William. <laughs>